Hey guys, happy Monday. Excuse the squinting. It's super bright outside right now and I just took my sunglasses off, but I just finished my workout over at Native. Um, got some jerks in, tore my hand on bar muscle ups. Bet I started getting the ring muscle ups back. I didn't get a ton of videoing from that. Um, I decided to do like a day in the life thing after. So now I've got to go buy groceries super fast before my nutrition calls. So I'm at Aldi. I don't know. You can kind of see it. And we're gonna go in there. I've got to find a quarter so I can get a buggy because I, th that's what you need at Aldi and I never think about that until I get here. So we'll see how this works. I hate that and I'm not loving going into a grocery store with an open hand, but I'm just gonna try and not touch anything with that hand. Really quick before I unload everything, um, I went and got a drink and I wanted to show you all this. I've really been into these Rowdy Mermaid kombuchas here. This is the Clarity, Bri uh, Clarity Blend. It's Lion's Root, Pineapple, tur Turmeric, and Lion's Mane. Um, what I really like is it's 45 calories per can, 9 grams of sugar. If y'all drink kombucha, y'all know that's like huge. Usually there's so much sugar in it, so that's awesome. Um, the ingredients are brewed tea, filtered water, organic rubios tea, organic cane sugar, organic turmeric extract, organic pineapple powder, pineapple flavor, want, W-O-N-F, whatever that is, um, organic lion's mane mushroom, and live cultures. That's pretty straightforward, pretty low sugar, so I'm really, really liking these. They are a little bit more expensive, but if you use Ibotta, there have been tons of coupons for them lately. So I'm definitely taking advantage of that and are, I'm really loving these right now. I'm, we're gonna unload these groceries. I'm gonna show you what I got, ignore my messy kitchen. I cleaned it, but I ground deer meat last night, and so it kind of got dirty again. And I'm just, I'm working on so many things right now. It's a little bit on the hectic side around here. All right, so my phone ran out of memory. I fixed it, it's fine. But you missed me basically getting water out and uh, paper towels because life with a toddler. So I was also talking about how I got some of this because Addie loves mac and cheese. And yesterday I was able to talk Bryce through making his like make your own mac and cheese while I was working on the deer meat. And he claims that it's like awesome, better than boxed mac and cheese, which it's definitely healthier. Um, I try and get these organic ones, but I mean, let's be real. We are using as little crap ingredients as possible when we make it ourselves. Um, so we didn't have any milk. So he did like butter, water, and shredded cheese with noodles that we had on hand. And she ate it. It was good. He thinks it's awesome. So, but I got this to help with that. Um, the ingredients aren't bad at all. Show you here. If I can get it to focus in. Oh, it's kind of focused. But they're not my favorite. But they're not bad. And at least she's eating something. I got to get that kid to eat. So, next. We've got sweet potatoes because I'm on another sweet potato fry kick. I don't know if I've ever got off one, but I just love sweet potato fries. I am going to surprise Bryce and, well, we'll see if I surprise him. But for Christmas, make his favorite zucchini little Parmesan crisp. Those are so good. Next, I found some, a pretty good sized jar of salsa. This is all Aldi, by the way. And like the ingredients aren't bad at all. It is crushed tomatoes, uh, which is water, concentrated crushed tomatoes, and then tomatoes, which is tomatoes, tomato juice, jalapeno peppers, onions, distilled water or distilled vinegar, contains less than 2% of salt, dried onion, dried garlic, and natural flavor. That's not bad. And it's like this big thing. I don't know if y'all can tell. I Surely y'all can tell how big that is. That's awesome. I'll be for the win. We've been doing chili on cold nights, so I just got the best I could find of pinto beans and fire roasted tomatoes to put in that. Cooking spray, I like to use olive oil, even though it doesn't do great on high heat, I still just make it work. 
ingredient when y'all are getting olive oil spray make sure you're reading the ingredients the first one i picked up had like silicone and all sorts of crap in it this one has organic extra virgin olive oil that's it that is sack number one i'm gonna go over the receipt with y'all later i got these because i walked in by the snack aisle and they look good Addie loves cheetos i don't love her eating cheetos so I'm hoping to get her on these. These have, like it still has canola oil in it, but it's other than that has decent ingredients. Um, it's white cheddar puffs and they sound good. I love things like cheese or like Cheetos. So we'll try them. She also loves cheese. So I got her some cheese sticks. This is another one. Like make sure you're always checking the label. This one has decent ingredients, but you will find some that have a decent amount of additives. I'm gonna try and get her into grapes. So that'll be awesome. And same thing with blueberries. Good snacks for all of us. And I'd really like her to eat more of these. And then for my lunch, instead of stealing Bryce's lunch, I got me some hamburger patties. Um, and I'm just gonna air fry them while I'm on my calls. I love the air fryer. If you don't like to cook, get an air fryer. I actually enjoy cooking. But I still use my air fryer quite a bit just because it makes life easy. And then I got Addie some uncured, un uncured, uncured beef hot dogs. They're organic with decent ingredients. Just trying to get her to get more protein and get a wider, wider variety of food. And that is it. So I'll put everything together and kind of go over it with y'all. So I'm really wanting to try these. So I thought I would video it. Let's see here. So what they look like. Not bad. If you're like expecting a big burst of cheese, you're not gonna get it. But like, if you're used to like, hey, this doesn't have all the fake stuff in it. This is fairly healthy. They're they're really good. And they really melt in your mouth. So if you've got like, for Addie's old enough to eat chips and stuff, if you've got like a one year old or something or some a kid that you're not comfortable feeding like foods that don't melt in their mouth yet, these are a decent option because I feel like they melt in your mouth pretty well. Obviously, try it before you feed it to your kid. Make sure you feel like it's safe. Um, but as a mom, I, I like them. Okay, guys. I wanted to go over with you, like, the receipt with all the real quick. Um, now, I'm sure you noticed I didn't buy a ton of meat, even though we eat a lot of protein around here. That is because we have the deer meat and are still working through that. So, that helps a lot. And I know exactly what goes into it because I'm the one processing it. So I love that. I also know what they were fed for the most part. I mean, I'm sure they went on other people's properties and stuff and ate other things. But I know at least some of what they were fed. It's more than I know about the random stuff I buy at the store. So I really like that. Um, the most expensive thing I bought was the six pack of paper towels. So that's really awesome. And that was at $6.79. So the second most expensive was the ground beef patties at $6.46. Other than that, the next most expensive was the organic beef hot dogs for Addie at $4.75. So like, it was a really good trip. In total, I spent $45.77. Um, I only need a few things from Sprouts. I got most of what I need. So really, I feel like that was a successful trip overall. I'm gonna log onto the Ibotta app now and make sure that I don't have any coupons for anything and see if I can save a little bit more money. Then I'm gonna change clothes and go get ready for my calls. So I've changed clothes and this shorts and a t-shirt. Um, one thing that I've been doing a lot of, or scratch that, rephrase, trying to incorporate more of is like Pilates work because it's something I haven't ever done a ton of especially like core focus stuff. And I really need the core work. I feel like that's why I had a lot of injuries. I feel like I'm not totally, like my core's not recovered from having Addie still, even though she's over two. Um, so I'm really taking a step back and working on that. So I've got a little bit of extra time. I'm gonna work on that. I may or may not film it. Um, I do it in a sports bra so I can really see the doming and really focus on watching the pressure. And I really need to focus on it. So I may not film it, but that's what we're about to do now. So basically all I do is go over to YouTube. You see we've got hunting and little bear because that's my life with my husband and daughter. 
We're gonna search Pilates. I've already searched that recently. So then I just go and find like a short core one because I've already done quite a bit of working out and I don't wanna overdo it, but I definitely need my core stronger. So I'll search and find one and then we'll go from there. Especially if you, this is just like an accessory workout, don't be scared to do the like beginner stuff and just focus on really using your core properly in form. So I had some friends tell me who grew up on a farm that it was best to soak these like fruits and veggies in salt water to pull the yuckiness out. This is also what I do to the deer meat and then I rinse it off real well. So these have been soaking for probably a good 30 minutes to an hour now. Now I'm gonna rinse all the salt and everything off real well and throw them in the fridge. Well, I've got all my client calls done except for one. I'm gonna go take a super fast shower and then work on some home workouts for one of my girls and a few cricket projects that I'm gonna hopefully remember to show y'all. And then I've got one more nutrition call for the night. So I got most of my calls done, got a shower, and now Bug is over here helping me write workouts for some of my girls. What do you think, Bug? What should they do? Hi. Hi. We've been working on potty training. That's why she has no pants on. She hasn't gone yet, but she also holds it while she's wearing her panties, so. So Bryce is home, so Addie and I were able to come home. Um, I'm gonna finish working on my project here. My call got moved to 6.30, then I'm gonna make dinner and just hang out with my family for the night. I don't know that I'll vlog much more, so we'll see. So that kept me off because my memory got that fixed. I'll need to record an outro at some point, but I don't want to do that just yet in case I decide to vlog anything else. So we'll see what the night has to hold. Well, my calls are done. We've ate dinner. I'm ready for bed. I'm going to pass out. Thank y'all for watching. Have a good night.